Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Coker here, a.k.a. Josh Miss Prime. You know what it is, coming back at you with another episode of Polymathics, a channel that helps you become a modern-day renaissance man or woman. Today we're going to talk about pre-orders. Some of you might be saying, Josh, you like come on YouTube, you're on here for a little while, and then you go off for a month or two, and then you come back like, why aren't, why aren't you consistent with it? Uh, I wish I was more consistent. I apologize, but this... This isn't my full-time thing, YouTube. It, it is something that I enjoy. I enjoy sharing the information. However, I have to write and get things done. And recently, I've been working on what I'm about to show you, which is the pre-order for book two in my Realm Wars series. That's my flagship space opera action adventure series. And so today, what I wanna do is share with everybody all of the steps that I put together, and I don't want to call it a template, but let's call it a standard operating procedure or best practices. And just to give give you some context, another reason that I'm very passionate about sharing these kind of videos is because when when I looked and and for how to do a pre order for a science fiction book or just a fiction book, there is information out there. There's actually quite a bit. But it's very all over the place. And there's there's no like consolidated spot. So hopefully this will be helpful for those of you who are looking to do a pre-order in 2023. And you're not finding that information. And just so you know, um, some of this information was pulled from the 20 books to 50k community and webinars. And then some of this was pulled from six-figure authors. And some of this was pulled from various authors that are in our industry but it's a confluence of all of that it's it's all of what i saw to be the best practices also what i saw to be the easiest things that you could do and as cheaply as possible um i do believe that some things you should pay for and we'll talk about some of those tools however i understand as an independent author myself that once you start paying $100 for this tool and $100 for that tool and a website and a this and a that, those costs start adding up. And then you start asking yourself, like, what was the point in publishing books anyways if I'm not making any money? I'm not saying that you should publish books just to make money, but in order to continue publishing them, you have to start becoming profitable. So what I try to look for are the quick, easy wins, that will get the biggest bang for your buck also financially so with that all that out of the way let's get into this okay so what you're looking at here is my main pre-order page this is the thing this is the link that i will be sending to or not will be i have been sending to prospective purchasers and this is a book funnel link and going back to what are some tools what are some tools that i believe are necessary for an author to use in 2023 and purchase in 2023 book funnel is definitely one of them also i have to pause here for a second and apologize if any of you hear snoring in the background that is my 115 pound mastiff who just loves to sit right behind me and snore the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you probably can't hear it, but if you do, that's what that is. Um, okay, so a couple key features that I think you'll... Oh, oh, uh, that threw me off. Let me go back here. Now, BookFunnel isn't the only place that you can get a landing page like this for your pre-order. However, I do think it provides one of the best options for one because it's got pretty much everything you want. Um, the I'm going to put myself on here. But the, the second thing is um, you, could, you could use Story Origin. You could use, if you have your own website and you wanted to go through the, the process of creating a page like this, you could. There are other places that have landing pages that are pretty cheap or free. You could. I'm not saying those aren't uh, an option. And if, let's say you already have a website and you don't want to spend any more money, then sure. 
using using book funnel uh, while it would be nice is not necessary. And as a matter of fact, I think Mailer Light and a couple other places might even have landing pages that you can use for free. So there are free options. What I'm trying to say is for a hundred dollars a year to use book funnel and not just get this feature, but all of the other features it gives it's it, it, it to me, it's a no brainer. Uh, and again, aside from book funnel story origin is another option that is right around the same price point that provides a very similar, uh, thing. So let's, let's talk about what this page is doing. That's so good. Number one, you get to show your book front and center. I mean, people need to see the product that you're you're giving up for pre-order. That's important. Um, having an eye-grabbing book cover is also very important. Something that fits within your genre, but also is attention grabbing. And I think I've done that here with this uh, with this cover. And then this right here. Um, if dreams can come true, does that mean nightmares can too? That's the hook for my blurb. I don't think it's the best one ever, but I think it fits the book really well. I also like that it ends in a question. Not all blurbs need to, but for me, this one really worked. And then the other cool thing is that you can put stuff here. This is almost exactly what the, the verbiage that uh, Book Funnel has for... Um, that like, like I didn't change this much. It, it's, you know, support indies and save money. And then you do this. What you're telling the reader is like, Hey, you can save some money by pre-ordering from me, the author directly versus other sites. And I will, I'll show you that in a minute. Again, this right now, what we're doing is an overview. After that, I'll go into more detail. Um, this is also really good that it you can show, all right, here's the regular retail price. This is how much you can get it if you buy direct from the author, okay? If you don't have your own website or landing page that they can buy from you direct, then then maybe maybe that's not an option and maybe you just offer it on on these different websites. But nowadays it's so easy. If you have Book Funnel, Book Funnel will link you can create another book funnel sales page where if they buy direct from you, they click on this, it goes to a different book funnel sales page where it will allow you to transact with um, PayPal. I don't know if they do Square, but but uh, Shopify, things of that nature. So this is where this is why you will also see there is no one cookie cutter one size fits all type of template that every author is using. It's because there's so many different platforms out there that you can sell your stuff. What I'm trying to do is to get you to envision like, okay, what are all the pieces that I'm going to need? So a buy direct link, I think is a really good idea because then what you can do, as you can see here, also available for 199 from these other stores. So already we've created this tier, tiered system of pricing. If you don't pre-order, you'll probably have to pay $3.99. That'll be the normal price. But if you buy it direct from me, you get it from 99 cents. And if you buy it from these other stores, like let's say somebody just has a preference that they would rather get it on Google Play or Apple Books or or Kindle, then fine, you're just gonna pay a dollar extra, which is still a dollar less than two dollars less than if you bought it retail during after the pre-order. So so what you're doing is you're stacking in your in their mind the value of this pre-order, which is already two to three dollars right there. Next, you're giving them various options. Um I'll show you guys how to set this up, but essentially this is, I know it seems like, oh my gosh, Josh has this on like 12 different, well, 10, 11 different platforms. Like, well, actually it's 12. Um, that, that seems like a lot of work. It's not. 
Also, you don't have to have it on that many, but I'll show you how to get it on most of these by using just two things. And then um, down here, this is also good. If you can, if you have time to set up a couple of bonuses that you can give your fan, your potential readers, then now you're creating even more value in the pre-order. Because now you're saying, hey, by the way, if you pre-order, you'll get the first seven chapters that you get to read right now before the book comes out. That way they can get hyped up about it. Um, you, you can give them bonus material. So you can see, and, and I'll go through all of this, but bonus material, extra chapters. And then for those of you that either are good artists, have artwork that, that was made for your story, or you're into AI art and, you, and you've gone down that rabbit hole and figured out how to do it, then you can offer a digital art to them. For me, I offered a digital wallpaper of, um, of some of the characters in my story. So this landing page does a lot because it's, ba it's basically linking to everything I want it to link to while also providing, like showing upfront the value of the pre-order. You're not just getting the book, you're getting a deal. You're getting for 99 cents to $1.99, you're getting all of these other bonuses. So um, now let, let me switch gears here for a minute and show you behind the scenes what's going on that, that you would have to prepare. And let me pause right now and tell you too, this, what you're looking at right now, I would consider an advanced campaign, an advanced pre-order because you're selling on more than one site, you're selling more than one price and you're offering bonuses so all of that requires a lot of stuff before i I, would, I just thought about this before i go into um how to do all the advanced stuff or intermediate stuff let's first just talk about how how can you have the simplest pre-order possible the absolute easiest pre-order possible you you decide what platform you're going to sell on for me for most people in our community the easiest one to sell on is amazon and i'm not going to walk through how to create a book on amazon most of you know it the biggest difference with a pre-order is when you're writing the details when you're in the details page of your book you just put the date to be a future date rather than than a current date so that when you when you hit that button to submit the, the book it does not go live it goes to pre-order and as you can see pre-order with one click at 199 and here it has that information perfect that's what we want this is the simplest pre-order you can do you're basically going through all the steps that you normally would when you put up an Amazon book in the first place, except the only thing different is you're putting a future date in the details section so that Amazon knows that this is a pre-order. If you don't use Amazon, let's say you use draft to digital, which is how you get it on most of these other platforms. It's the same process. You do the same process that you would do with your book except you put a future date and that and then what what that will do is on all of these retailers it will give it a second here loading it will put the pre-order up see expected june 7th 2023 there are some caveats with pre-orders in the sense that um you have to have your final files in by, I think it's like two or three days before the pre-order, uh, before the launch, before the launch. So, so for me, I had the final files ready 
And, and as a matter of fact, I was going to launch like a month and a half ago. And then I said to myself, what is the rush? I'm, I'm not trying to rapid release. I put the first book out, this book. I put this book out um, about six or seven months ago. So it's well within a year time frame. Why not try to do the pre-order thing now and, and learn that process? Because here's another interesting thing that I learned during the, during the research that I did is that you could have a book on pre-order for a year. And as long as you don't have it on Amazon, you can have it on, on pre-order for as long as you want. On your website, you can have it on pre-order for two years. What is the benefit of that? If you're selling direct, if you're... Um, if you know it's going to take you some time, you can, and and you don't care about Amazon's algorithm and being ranked highest on Amazon. Which, as a beginning author, and I, I would say just in general, there are a lot of people in our industry that are making good money that don't rank the highest on Amazon, and so. The point I'm trying to make is you can make sometimes more money not using Amazon. So as long as you don't, pri if that's a priority for you, then maybe this isn't uh, the strategy you, you would like to use. But for those who uh, are not looking to Amazon's algorithm, like ranking high in Amazon's algorithm and just care about getting... Um, profit from whatever means possible, going wide, selling direct and things like that, then the strategy that I'm, this strategy of putting your book out a year in advance, two years in advance is actually a good strategy because essentially what you're doing is you're creating a Kickstarter for your book. And if people are excited about that book, then they'll be willing to pay for it. And I, I know, I already know this because, uh, when I released this pre-order a couple weeks ago, people have been pre-ordering book three, which I know won't come out till at least the end of 2023, maybe the beginning of 2024. And I put that in the, in the language like, hey, if you want to get the book now for as cheap as you possibly can, you can buy it now. And then you'll be eligible for all these bonuses when the pre-order comes out. And that's another thing too. Like you don't even have to have the pre-order set up for it. Look, I'll walk you through it all. The point is that pre-orders are a great upsell as well for books that you're releasing. I'll show you guys all of this. It Maybe it doesn't make sense. I don't think I'm articulating it quite well. But my, the main point that I'm trying to make is that as long as you don't care about Amazon's ranking system, if that's not the strategy you're trying to use, and you're, you're available to go wide, and especially if you have your own website or, or transaction system, you don't even have to have a website, really. You could just have like a couple landing pages. Then you can, you can use the pre-order strategy to kind of use it as a Kickstarter to get money for the book that has not come out yet. And the benefit of that is twofold. You're getting paid while you're writing the book. That's a good thing. And you're also making more money off of the, the purchases. And here's why. When you sell on your site, and I'll talk about this when we, when we go to direct sales. When you sell on your site, you get like, I don't know, it's something ridiculous. 90, 85, 90% of the sale, maybe even more. If you sell on Amazon or some other platform draft to digital you get significantly amazons are somewhere between 70 to 35 percent of of the of the net sale if you sell on your own website you're getting almost all of it so you're getting more pennies per dollar which again that's a good thing that's going to allow you to stay in business long enough to continue to write to put out more books to provide value to your audience. Okay, so now that I'm off that rant, let me go to what I wanted to show you. So again, here, 
here's the the main page that people will go to but there are several other pages that are involved and i'm going to show them to you real quick and then i'll show you on the back end all of the different uh links that are involved all of the different uh things that i had to set up to give you an idea of like what kind of like do i need a checklist and if i if i can i mean i can if i have time what i'll do is i'll leave a checklist template in the link below or however you're viewing this wh wherever i can attach a link i'll leave it there so that if you want to kind of use that checklist you don't have to recreate the wheel and you could just add to it so l let's see um all right so first let me show you what happens here to show how wh where or to show them what all the bonuses are if they get pre-orders and to me bonuses are super important for the pre-order um on an intermediate level let's talk about this so the very uh, going back to the very simplest easiest pre-order you just need one platform where the book is on pre-order that's it and then sell it for a price that's like a dollar less than what you're going to sell it for when you release that that's totally cool that's an incentive alone the you know get it early and get it for a, a little a couple bucks less that's an incentive if you want it provide more value and ramp up the deal then the next thing that you would do is you would add additional bonuses now some pre-orders do physical bonuses some pre-orders don't the cheapest way to go is digital bonuses because then you can have them auto delivered and you don't have to mail anything out and that's where a lot of people get themselves in trouble with kickstarters and pre-orders is um they have to they have to constantly mail all this stuff and figure out people's addresses and things like that so uh, there are there are levels to this okay maybe i should do a whole video on like what is a simple one versus a intermediate versus a, but i think you get the point right so aside from just price now you're adding various different places that the person can purchase it from, including your own website, and you're adding bonuses. Um, usually the easiest bonus you can give is the first couple chapters for free. That way they can start getting into the storyline right when they d download it. Um, that could be, and, and again, I'll show you, but you could just have a link that sends them to the first seven chapters a preview link if you have book funnel you probably have already put the preview link in an arc copy um uh, same thing with story origin you usually put a preview link in the arc copy for your arc readers to see if they're interested in even reading the story so you can literally use the same link that you you, you use for your arc readers to now make it a bonus for your pre-order readers the and then like i said some ideas for digital material um you could have this one this bonus material newcomers brief that was a deleted scene that didn't go into any of the books i just could not fit it in but it was like in my mind it was something that had happened to my main character prior to this book well now people can read it and it gives them it's not a prequel but it gives them a little bit of context as to what world she's on which is super good since this is book two in the series and if they didn't if they chose not to read book one well now they're getting an idea of the world that that the story is going to take place in even though they didn't read book one uh let's see the bonus chapter truth lies and promises this is something else that was like a basically a deleted scene that i realized when i was when i was thinking in my head the scene is it's kind of awkward in the sense that it's more like an epilogue for book one and it's more like a prologue for book two so i was like 
I don't want to put in... I personally don't want to put prologues in these books because, to me, most people don't read prologues. Will I put it in like a you know a collector's edition one day probably but for the sakes of for the purposes of this pre-order it works out great because now i have a bonus chapter that acts as the epilogue to book one and the prologue to book two so it's the the connecting gel for those two books to me that's perfect it's a perfect use case scenario you may have deleted scenes that can be repurposed for those things if not ask yourself is there something that could work as a prologue for book, oh, sorry, an epilogue for book one and a prologue for book two? If so, it doesn't have to be long. I believe this chapter is like not even a thousand words, maybe a thousand words. Now, this this other one, new, Newcomer's Brief, ended up being, I want to say like almost 2,000 words. But that's just because that's how much was in the scene when I wrote it. So these don't have to be super long. I, I would say anywhere from 500 to, say, 2,000 words is pretty good. Beyond that, now you're giving short stories, which is totally cool. But again, like, you know, th it doesn't have to be something major. Um, and then the ex exclusive high-resolution digital wallpaper. Like I said, if you had concept art made for your story, if you drew stuff of your characters or, or the world or the language or whatever... And you're like, this is kind of sitting here and I don't know what to do with it. Give it away as a bonus. And you could even say, like, let's say you're not the best artist and you don't do um, AI art. That's cool. Take the art you did and you can say, here are the characters as envisioned by the author themselves. That's fine. That's concept art. That's It just allows for super fans people which are usually the people who want to buy something like this to really immerse themselves in the world and the thing that sometimes we as authors don't think of is that for people who are interested in our world they want like part of the collector mentality is to like you know more than your other friends who know the world too so i remember growing up I don't know if I have any out right now. I don't, but like I was a big I was a big comic book fan. I have all kinds of little figures like this around. But um I collected comic cards. Oh, here we go. Here's I've had this since the 90s. This is this came with an X-Men comic book that I got. Um The point is is that when you're a collector Things like that make you feel like you're more in touch with the world and the author. So high resolution art, I'm going to show you all these things here in a second. All of those things are free for you to give to people, except for the time it takes you to make. They're free. When it came to the digital, the bonus chapters, which were basically deleted scenes, it didn't cost me anything because I had already written them. It didn't even cost me time. I mean, yeah, maybe I had to edit them a little bit and then get them to where they look nice. But other than that, that that was free for me. And to deliver it to them is free because, I mean, at the worst case scenario, if you can't automate the, the delivery system, you can just send the email yourself with the, the links to all this stuff. That's another thing. Like, you don't even need a fulfillment page if you don't have the time to make one, you can just make a fulfillment email where it's like, here's the link to this, here's the link to that, here's the link to that. That's how easy it can be. It's all up to your technical abilities and and how much time you have and the amount of effort you wanna put in. Uh, okay, so now with all that out of the way, let me show you what this looks like when somebody wants to see these bonuses, okay? What it's going to do it's going to take them to my website. Some of you may have websites. Some of you may not. This doesn't have to be a website page. This could be a landing page for that, that you make um, on your email service provider. Okay, So it takes them right to the pre-order sale guidelines. Now, this is important too because if you're, if you're how can I put this? If you're 
only selling direct, you may not need to have the guidelines. But if you're selling on Amazon, Apple, Google, any of the other platforms that aren't your website, you're not going to be able to get the, the person's email address and information. And so in order for them to get all of the bonuses that they get from buying from that platform, then you're going to have to give them, show them the guidelines on how they get that stuff. So this is basically like the instructions page, okay? And on the instructions page, not only am I telling them how they get the bonuses, but I'm also going to show them the bonuses. So here I, again, you know, I'm putting the details like when the when the pre-order ends by June 1st. If they don't get the pre-order by June 1st, then none of this applies. And here's the thing, like if somebody submits something to me after June 1st, I'm probably still going to send it to him. I just don't want it to be, you know, 2025 and somebody sends it to me. Um, okay. So this, this is just kind of like a, Hey, by the, you know, an opening graphic. Now I give them a link right away for those who don't want to read all this and they're just ready to pre-order on the site. I give them the link. I'm not going to click on that right now because I want to show you like essentially what the instructions page looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remind them here are the bonuses. Oh, here, let me move myself out of the way. I just realized that I'm, there we go. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm reminding them, here are all the bonuses that you're going to be able to get. And then, see, you get your digital copy for $199, and I remind them, the regular retail price is $399. I'm building the value of the pre-order. Plus, those who submit a receipt, now we're getting into the instructions, will be eligible to receive. And then I list all of those bonuses that we discussed. And then I give them, so here I'm gonna show them the bonuses and I'll walk through this. But the, what I'm doing is I'm saying like, hey, the instructions are located and then I give them a link that basically brings them down to the exact instructions. But I'm also allowing them to look at the digital bonuses that they're gonna get. Now. This may be advanced. Some of you are seeing these pages and you're like, holy cow, Josh, how did you do this? I'm not an artist. I can't do any of this. All of these things. That's fine. You don't have to have a book cover page for each of your things. If, if your bonus chapter and bonus content, you can't, you, you don't do digital art, you don't draw whatever, that's fine. Just put a link, <laughs> just put a link with like a button that, that, that actually, and actually here, you don't even have to do it. You can just list them, right? But to me, some people are vis visual. So if you have artwork, if you can make artwork, if you're doing uh, AI art, if you know Photoshop, then I would recommend doing this. This took me, all mo most of what you're seeing took me a day to get into the system. Um, maybe two days total to get the whole pre-order set up. And then here's the, so the reason why I put wallpaper art like this is because if you, if you don't put a banner across, this is kind of like a watermark. Um, somebody could just right click and then save the image as, and they've already got the wallpaper art. So this is, this is a way to prevent people from basically hijacking it. Right? So they get, it, it, I'm just showing them like, look, you get the book at pre-order price, the bonus chapter, bonus content, and wallpaper art. Those are your bonuses. Then I say, but wait, there's more. So now what I'm doing, I've already built value for the pre-order. You get a bunch of bonuses and a cheaper price. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to incentivize them to purchase from my site directly. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more readers to purchase from Story Ninjas for various reasons. Number one, you know, what's the point in having a website if you don't have your readers go on it? But number two is um, you get more of the sale, like I discussed before. And number three is if in the future Amazon is gone, um, Kindle or not Kindle, Apple is gone and has been replaced by some other thing, some virtual reality thing or whatever. You want your people used to going to your website so you can direct them. So 
that to me, this is a, a big step in building a more long-term audience and relationship with these people. So um, basically what I'm doing is I'm saying you get additional incentives if you purchase from StoryNinjas.com. You get another dollar off. So it's only 99 cents instead of $1.99 or $3.99. And then I'm going to give them early access one week to the story. This is a very easy, uh, what's the word, incentive that costs me nothing except a week. In the sense that like now I have to wait one more week to release the book at launch. But it adds more value to those who would purchase on this. To me, it's way worth it. It's super worth it. And the fact that... To them, they get to read the book before anybody else does, seven days before. That starts to build hype for the story itself. And then the third option is that um, if they wanted to get paperback books that were signed by me, because paperback books are going to be $12.99 when they launch, they can get it for $9.99 and it will be signed for me. So there, again, I have added more value to the website purchase and to that book itself. And by the way, just so that you guys know, I, I started the pre-order and people have already purchased several of the paperbacks to be signed. Now, the reason why this is nice is you, I mean, of course, you, you have to send them the paperback. This is the only, th uh, so let me walk through this. The paperback, I'll scroll down here. The paperback that I have to send to them is going to cost me money. It's going to cost me money because I have to purchase it from either Amazon or Drafted Digital as an author copy. And then I have to send it in the mail. But it gives me many benefits. Number one. Because I'm selling it for $9.99, I basically will still get half of that. Even though I have to send it out to them, I still will get half of that money. Which is way more than what I would get from Amazon if I were going to sell it on Amazon. Number two is by incentivizing them to purchase on Story Ninjas, I'm going to get their contact information so that I can stay in contact with them. If someone ends up buying, or for example, the people who did buy the paperbacks, for me, that tells me they're a motivated buyer and that they like my stuff. So, of course, I would want to have their information to continually keep that conversation going. So, again, what did I do? I showed them all of the incentives I, I didn't just list them out. I showed it to them, showed them the incentives. And then now we get to the pre, the how to enter instructions on the pre-order. And it, it, I'm not going to go through all of this, but you will want to have some, you guys could literally go on my page, take this information, copy it, and then put yours instead, put your date, Put your uh, email address and all that stuff. And then there you go. And then you're good to go. You don't have to re rethink, uh, reinvent the wheel. Um, and then same thing with the rules, right? Now these rules are, sim the instructions are like, hey, you got to fill out this form or send me this message by X time. The rules are, if basically, if somebody is outside of the US, then they're not, they cannot get a paperback book because um then like there are certain places outside of the u.s where if somebody bought a paperback book it would cost me more than the paperback book itself to even send it to them and that does not make good business sense to do that and they're also just a nightmare if they if they don't um go by the way for any of you who are let me i'm gonna put myself back on here oh you know i'll do this uh okay for those of you who are considering like maybe I would send a paperback book or maybe uh, something physical, which by the way, it doesn't ha just have to be a paperback book. Uh, I've seen authors that do, they call them book plates, which I think is like something that you, you can sign. Um, you can do uh, book, 
marks. You can do a bookmark. Uh, again, you have to have a bookmark, but if you you can create one of those easily. I just I didn't I didn't spend time doing that. On my next pre-order, I'm gonna have all this stuff. And the reason why you, you want the physical stuff to be small, like say the size of a book or smaller, is because you still have to fit that in a package. And the bigger the package and the heavier the package, the more it's gonna weigh. Or the more yeah, the more it's gonna weigh, the more it's gonna cost you. So anything little, stickers, pins, um, this is a this is a patch. This is a patch. Uh, I don't have any pins, but pins, anything like that that's small like that. Uh, this would also work. This is a Story Ninjas um, thing to clean your eyeglasses, right? Stuff like that is perfect for physical items because it will fit in the package and add very little cost so if you are considering to me physical if you do a physical uh incentive or bonus item then you're definitely entering into the advanced realm because now not only do you have to have those items you have to send those out and you have to get people's addresses but for those of you who are like, man, that sounds like a lot to do. It's a little bit extra to do. And I would say the first few times you do it, it might seem uh, a, a little difficult. But one of the one of my other clients that I've done, sold thousands of their books and had to ship thousands of their books, um, they don't they don't print on Amazon or draft to digital they print at one of our local bookseller or one of our local printers here in florida so what i do is i go and i pick up all of their books in giant boxes and then i send out the packages for them right that's one of the services that story ninjas does and it's it's a little time consuming but it's super easy it's a super easy process and I promise you, once you get it down, you'll be like, man, this is this is a great way to send, like sending somebody something physical that they can hold in their hand, put in their house, put in their room, put on their, another one, uh, magnets for, for the refrigerator. Anything like that is gold to send out in one of these pre-orders. So, okay, so... Now, let's just recap, because I know this is going to be a long video, okay? I showed you the, um, I showed you this page, the actual pre-order page. Then, I showed you the guidelines page. Well, now, let me show you what the, um, what the, what the actual website page looks like, okay? Because, if, for example, if you, um, We'll go back to this one. If you put a pre-order up on Amazon, you don't have to deal with that. Like they're going to, Amazon's going to fulfill the digital version of that. You don't have to worry about it. What you need to worry about is how do you fulfill the pre-order itself? The, the bonuses and whatnot. So here, this will be quicker. If I go here. Okay. So another thing that you'll set up, again, this takes time, but it's, it's free, it's cheap, it's easy. You could basically copy a lot of the information that I have here and then just, again, instead of the name of your book, you put, or the name of my book, you put the name of your book and so on and so on. But you can create a form where people put in their information and then submit it and then that way they can submit their proof of purchase. Because anybody who doesn't purchase on, on say, your website, on a if they purchase on Amazon, draft -a digital Apple, Kobo, any of those other stores, you're going to want them to fill this page out, this submission page out. And so what you're looking at right now is a form that I made in Google Forms that's completely free, very easy to use. However, you can create forms on your own website. You can create forms on... Most 
email service providers. I'm pretty sure MailChimp does it, but I know for a fact MailerLite does things like this. So, and then all, you don't have to have the photo. I just happen to have it, right? Uh, you you kind of remind them what the rules are, and then you you have a spot that they can put their info in. So they put in their email, their name, and again, you could you could literally go through here and just get all this information from mine and then put them in yours. Now, the reason why I asked this, where did you get your pre-order, is just at the end of the day, um, when I, like on the back end of this, I can see how many people said they got their books from Am uh, Amazon versus Apple versus XYZ. It's just good for analytics. Uh, and then uh, the, one of the last things you have is where they can put a screenshot, a photo, whatever here to confirm their proof of purchase. And then another thing that I do is I try to take this opportunity because remember, these are people who purchased, excuse me, these are people who purchased on a different platform. So I'm saying, look, you've already filled this out. You've already pre-ordered. Do you want to do you want to join the mailing list? Do you want to be a realm warrior, so to speak? And just so you know, this is not part of the pre-order process, but like I I have a pretty robust uh, mailing system that I send out to my readers. So I like I have emails that I send out to them that are current events, you know, like uh, I'm sending out the pre-order or every month I give them, uh, I write a, f a free short story set in the Realm Wars universe. But then I also join a lot of book promotions where I send it out to my readers once a month where they can read a, a uh, not read a book, where they can get a ton of free books that are in science fiction and fantasy for free. So I have that too. So anyways, the point is, is, this is extra, but highly encouraged because now you're giving them an opportunity to become more part of your community. Um, yeah, and then and then I just put the terms at the bot terms here, and then have them agree to the terms, and then there you go. It's that easy. So that's 